Hi, my name is Catherine Radke. I'm here to talk to you about a new book that I wrote about four years ago. I decided when I first got it published that I wanted to make it special. It wasn't just about a book. It was also about my mother. See, when I wrote this book, it was shortly after my mother passed away in 2012. The book is called I Was a Kid Once Too. I'd like to tell you how I began. Um, many of you do not realize this as a Hazel's Angels caregiver advocate. I have another line that I'd like to teach you. Scratch that. It's okay. Don't stop. I'll edit it. I'll edit it. Did you stop it? Okay. Now, one thing, looking way back, when my brother passed away, um, it was very difficult. Uh, it was uh, something that no one would have ever expected. He was only 24 years old. And unfortunately, he passed away of a, a drug overdose. Um, and I grew up in the project, so I really understood how important it was for family and communities to stick together. So, when he passed away, one of the biggest things that hit me hard was when I went home and I looked through my photo album, and I didn't see one picture of him, not one. I knew my mom had many, but I couldn't believe, as a sister, I didn't have one picture. So that's why when my mother passed away, it was very easy for me to not forget the memories. And I put the book together just based on wanting to remember who she was and how important she was to our community. So I started by writing the first book, I Was a Kid Once Too. Now, my first experience getting it published wasn't a very good one, unfortunately. I didn't know much about publishing. I didn't know much about anything, not formatting, not publishing, not editing. So when I first gave it to the distributor, I did a lot of research. I had to find out how to get my BN number. I made sure that I was able to get my own barcode on the very bottom, as you can see. And I was pretty proud. I thought, this is a memory and this is good. But then, when my daughter became, I knew that my daughter was also ill and um, she had seizure disorder. So I was forced to leave a place called uh, Valley String Retirement Home. Um, I shouldn't say forced, I made the decision to leave Valley Stream Retirement Home to care for my daughter. Um, we couldn't understand the healthcare system at the time and why things were taking so long. And I hoped after writing my book to be able to pursue a career. Um, but I decided to put on the back burner for a while and understand what was going on with healthcare. What was the difference from the 80s to now? Why was it so easy for my mom to take care of six kids and have so much support? And now people have their doors closed. You don't see anybody sitting on the stair, on the steps talking. There ain't even a door open when you walk down the neighborhood. So I want to invite you to something very special. I have a couple of things I want to tell you about, but I just want to give you a little update on one of the book launches that I did have. This book launch, I decided I was going to change the cover. However, I didn't realize that by changing the print, it was going to make a whole new difference in price. So my first book launch, unfortunately, trial and error, it failed dramatically. The books were being charged for $20 a piece, but the actual cost was $37. So as you can see, I took a major hit. And that's why I decided, now, oh, Brittany, are you looking at the camera? Yeah. yeah. And that's why I decided that I was going to just put it aside, focus on what was most important, my avenue, Hazel's Angels. So we fought for years. My book was out there for many of you to read, and I'm not sure how many of you might have taken opportunity for that. But I will say this. It took a lot of online publishing, blogs, other people getting included, sharing their advice, sharing their stories, letting others know who and what was going on in healthcare to make the changes that we need to have done. Now we have a new program. We have a new program called DSO, Disability, Disability Supports Young Adults in Ontario. So you have the help now. The problem is the marketing. We need to market for you. We need to let you know the young adults where there is to get the help. And not only that, but everyone needs to know the changes in healthcare. Because if you don't know those changes, you might get stuck one day, not knowing where to turn. So not only have we decided that we're going to be going around the area with our book, I Was a Kid Once Too, we're going to ask you 
for your help. You see, our family is desperate. We could really use an income. I had to give up my job, and I worked many years in a retirement home and loved every bit of it, caring for your parents and your loved ones. But now I care for my daughter at home, and I had to find another avenue to make a living. So I decided to take the book that my mother wrote, that I wrote for my mother. I was a kid once too and transform it into a whole new look so we can take the pride that our book brought to our community and the changes that my mother's words and memories reminded us of and share it with you. So not only do you have so many stories of me growing up as a kid, a child, my mother's daughter, but we also have the avenue so you can get the help you need. 211 has more than you think now. Don't think that number can't help you anymore. There are a lot of changes. So please, join us. When I was a kid once too, because I plan on making a lot more videos in the future, and I'm gonna be reading and doing some puppet shows that you'll think I'm either crazy or just having fun because I'm home with my loved one and having a great time and making it happen. Thank you so much, everybody. And please remember to join hazelsangelscares.com where you'll find more information, more fun, and I guarantee you, more help.